and he's come out the other side this will be video too because I still don't know how to add it <laughs> uh, I gotta get a good spot here so I can focus in on him again we're panned right in all the way He's going to his family. He's talking. Gotta be hot for them too. That's a long walk. Stay in one spot. Wow, just a little movement and it's gone. I got you now. Baby, I think. No, nope, maybe that's just. No, he's still going, so. He's just waddling away there, eh? No, he stopped to pick something up. Did you find yourself a field mouse? They were, they were scattering the other day when I was cut. It was a long walk, Dad. That's the camera squeaking on the window jam where the screen's supposed to go, and I'm leaning on that. It's my new tripod. Yeah, now Mr. Gary comes out. Sorry, Mr. Gary, but <clears throat> we're getting the wildlife right now. <coughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. You get that fly off me? Back of my hand, he's biting me. Don't hit it, don't just what you bought. Yeah. They're coming back. The flies will be coming back because I'm delicious.
Sorry, folks, but the flies are biting me. You can always Oh, I might as well get the whole film of the whole fam family here. Out foraging in the fields. Beautiful shots. Even if I don't post this one, still some good stuff. Go away, fly. You're lucky you don't have a fly swatter. Again, this is their sandhill cranes, not ours. They just chose to live on our property in the in the pond. And as I said, we've been cutting and planting and stuff, so lots of food from the nobody's racing around, usually in four wheelers here. A little bit on the weekend. Without all the noise of uh, four wheelers and side by sides and stuff, uh, they stick around. And they come in and they, it knocks them out for a couple days. They're still around, but you don't see them as much. Such majestic birds. When they, when they do the ca ca that they do, and they're Arr! that noise they do, it's like, we call them pterodactyls from the dinosaur ages, age. It's just beautiful. Yeah, if you live in the city, I hope you enjoy, uh, if you see, get to see our videos. It's true to life. 59 the end of the month and Cordelia is 63 should be 64 in September and uh, we're doing the best we can on an old farm that a German guy Schwartz used to own very successful uh, German might as well I could say a billionaire I guess and he used to use this as a hunt camp and he had hectares of land in here, not acreage, he had hectares. He owned the whole uh, the whole area of it up on the up on the ridge here. He owned it all. And this was his bear hunt. And moose, apparently there was a big moose hanging on hanging on uh, upper stairs here when you came upstairs in my apartment here. And I guess the last uh, owner took that with him. I'm not into having deer heads hanging on my wall anyways. It's not a hunt camp, it's a it's a house. Be like me taking one of my chicken heads and putting it on the wall. Just not not something I wanna do. And if that's your thing, that's fine. I'm not cutting anybody up. My choice is not to do it. Not the way I live. But we're trying to do the natural life and grow on our own uh Meat birds, we haven't yet, but we think we're going to get 30 the uh, 1st of July. And then we'll get into the end of September, and that'll be time for them to be done. And everything will be slowed down. Might be able to get them into Sprucedale, or maybe Northern Meat Packers will get their white meat license by then. I doubt it. They're giving them a hard time on their red meat license. Really hard to run a uh, a farm business when you don't have someone local to do your meats and the provincial government doesn't seem to be doing their job but what are you gonna do right you complain and it just makes it worse and I don't think the lady that's doing it knows what the hell she's doing she certainly doesn't know how to do paperwork but anyways so here we are up uh, just south of North Bay the Powasset area waiting for an abater to get their license so that we can get our animals in and get them done properly as as per government regulations we're not allowed to kill our own animals or birds and sell them it has to be government approved which is another farce but you gotta you gotta obey the law or else they, you know, they come in and they take your farm you, know, 
you sell unlicensed uh, unabated birds with, or, or, or meat or anything like that and the next thing you know they they got you going the other way so they got you coming and going and here we are waiting for licensing it's ridiculous but that's how it is nowadays the professional world sure isn't professional anymore maybe the old uh, old school people are still professional but the new ones certainly aren't professional at all we used to be ashamed if we couldn't do our jobs. Now they just don't bloody well care anymore. Anyways, that'll do it for the sandhill cranes, the babies. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Peace out. I'm not if you watched and you liked it. <laughs> Subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. Let's see. Focus in. There is Gary. Hey, Gary. Granite Ridge Greens. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this.